Sympathy doesn't score goals. Journalist slams Sadio Mane as Bayern Munich's worst player. Is Sadio Mane holding back Bayern Munich? He has scored a total of six goals in 14 games in the Bundesliga and scored three in six Champions League games. This is a respectable return, but it hasn't stopped German journalist Alex Studel from unleashing a vicious verbal assault on the former Liverpool star. Of course, we all know about the injury Mane sustained at the end of last year resulting in him being ruled out of the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. If you'd like the latest update on Mane, please watch the video linked in the description below. Everyone expected Mane to fill the void left by FC Barcelona-bound Robert Lewandowski. But how can you replace a goal-scoring machine? Mane initially delivered before going through a sticky patch, but history tells us that Mane was never going to be the goal machine Bayern wanted, he never was. Let's take a look at his final season stats at Liverpool, fantastic season, scored goals, many of them very important goals. Mane is the quintessential team player and is so much more than just a goal scorer. Just take a look at Liverpool this season to see how much he is missed and how important he was for them. Liverpool with Mane. Liverpool without. At the start of the season, the former Liverpool FC star was scoring a bunch of goals in Bayern's blistering start, leading many to believe that Bayern had found a worthy successor to the Ballon d'Or hunting pole. Then came the rough patch that undid Bayern, requiring a hero to get them back on track. And Mané was not that man. At least, according to one journalist, Alex Studel, he ripped the Senegalese attacker a new one in his Sport 1 column, pointing out the things Mané was doing wrong. Stranger is putting it nicely. The man fits into the Bayern team like tofu into white sausage. Mané messes everything up, said Studel. Sometimes he plays on the left, sometimes he plays in the centre of the attack, where he is hopelessly overwhelmed. Mane is the field walker who never arrives. And it's been like this all the time, but nobody says it out loud, Mane for Lewandowski? Who actually came up with this nonsense? With Mane, the Bayern attack is in constant imbalance. Everyone can see it. The result? Worst start to the season since 2010. Mané is not solely responsible, but he bears a fair share of the blame. Studel puts some of the blame on Bayern sporting director Hassan Salihamidzic, and accuses him of wanting to pacify the fans. He was more concerned with getting a big name, to replace the then outgoing Lewandowski, without thinking about the balance of the team. It really hurts me to look. If Mané gets the ball on the left and starts dancing around, I always know in advance that nothing will come of it. He gets stuck, he stumbles. He's slow too. Studel's final blow was calling Manet the worst transfer of the season. He went on to say, Unfortunately, all of this makes him the worst transfer of the summer for me, 32 million for nothing. In my interim report, Manet gets a 5 out of 10. It is clear that Studel is being rather harsh on Sadio Manet. I would suggest that Liverpool letting Manet go for only 32 million was the worst business of the season, just look at how it has affected them. They are a shadow of the team they were. When Mané was playing a star role. I wonder how all of this plays out, will Mané come back from injury and stamp his authority on the team? Or, will he fall out of favour at Bayern and make a sensational return to Liverpool? I for one, am still hoping for a very unrealistic reunion with Klopp at Liverpool next season. What do you make of the comments of Alex Studel? Do you agree or disagree? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, please drop a like and subscribe for more football news from your host, Crouchy Cool.